What is going on, mortals? Hello, Mortal T here. And today we have got some more news and another Arc Aberrations creature Dossier Hay has been revealed and some news about Xbox rentable servers which still haven't come yet but they are planning to be released very very soon but before we get into all the information that I have for you today if you're new to the channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and also go and follow me on Twitter where I, where I do announce the stuff that I find out before I make the videos so if you want to be informed early go and follow me on Twitter because I've got a spoiler alert right now boom I have already got a tweet up saying Arc Xbox rentable servers should be out the 25th of October yes that is right and if you had followed me on Twitter you would have known about this uh, very very soon so if you want to go and follow me it's not that hard it's at the underscore mortal underscore t or just go in the search bar and type in mortal t and it'll just pop up with me right there not hard so let's just get to the information so we're back on the arc forums where another community crunch uh 50501 no it's 105 was uh, released and this is the new creature dossier that has been released now this looks oh this looks i don't know this looks scary a vicious kind of creature there's nothing to it there's literally nothing we got some of the head which sort of leads down to a neck but we can hardly see anything else we've got some it looks like it may have sort of a body like a t-rex or the utaranus or something uh, it's got these short stubby arms but the fingers are really long uh, the utaranus got uh, longer claws and a tiny longer fingers on the t-rex but we don't know and then we got some kind of tail here with loads of little spikes on it and everything so what could this creature possibly be the other big thing about this picture is there there's blood all over it there's blood absolutely all over it on the other ones there wasn't any blood but on this one there is so i don't know i'm gonna make a guess this is gonna be one of the creatures that sort of impregnates you i'm guessing something maybe if it impregnates you and then the thing bursts out your chest maybe the blood maybe all i've got is a picture in my head when arc aberrations is behind the scenes and all this kind of stuff just a small little role play going on in my head is someone has just found this dossier uh, part of the book or something and they're really excited and then you slowly just see this creature slowly creeping up on that person uh, the person not knowing that something's behind him and then the creature going Whoosh! and it slashes the whole person into little bits and the this is what happens to so the dossier the dossier the dossier has been cut into bits as well and there's blood all over it <laughs> that's just a little picture that's in my head but this creature definitely looks very very mean it looks like their muscles a bit like the pegram asterix have where it's some of its mouth has been like stitched up and it doesn't look that good that's what it looks like here but it's got massive teeth as well blue eye well it could be any color eye anyway but i don't know it looks like it could maybe have some armor on its head some or a carapace or something on its head maybe 
this picture isn't giving a lot away, which is a bit unfortunate. But this looks like it's going to be one of the one of the meanest creatures in Ark Aberrations. They finally give us a dossier that is covered in blood, saying, "Yes, if you come across this creature, it's going to cover you in blood as well." <laughs> um, but no information on it whatsoever, unfortunately. But still, a really cool picture. So now for the talking about the freaking Xbox Play Anywhere crossplay rentable servers and Xbox export. So they put some information down here about it, and I'm just going to read it out to you more so you get the gist of what is going on. Uh, we have some information to share about Xbox Play Anywhere and Xbox rentable servers front. So if you don't know what it means by Xbox Play Anywhere, that means you can literally play it anywhere on any Windows 10 device. Well, not any, any because you get tablets, but that can't run Arc because it won't have the RAM or the capabilities <laughs> running it. But it means you can cross play between Xbox and Windows 10 on a PC. That's what it means, cross play. And rentable servers is something that's been out for a while for PS4, but hasn't yet come to Xbox. Anyway, first of all, rentable servers will be available on Xbox from the October the 25th, and Netrado uh, will supply them. In the coming days, we are have more information available about the process, and will be. Um, as well as a landing page to collect interest. The delay comes from some extra loose ends we needed to tie up with Microsoft and the Trado. And then after that, we'll have to get through long certification. A date takes into account the long cert time, which is pretty good. So this means we won't have to wait for the long cert. Uh, this should be ready for uh, after the long cert, and this is definitely the date we should get them. The patch will also include our uh, official Xbox One X support, so you guys won't have to wait for an update for that. So basically, it's what they're saying that Microsoft has been little bitches about all this, and they wanted to try and squeeze as much money as they can out of everyone, just like Microsoft usually do. Yes, it's Microsoft that has been putting up the front. Uh, it's the same with most companies. They put up a front because they don't want to share stuff. And it's stupid. It's the same thing between Microsoft and Sony. It really, really is. For one hand, you got Xbox Live, then you got the PlayStation Play. And they won't cross them over. You won't let they won't let you PS4 players play with freaking Xbox players. It's a stupid thing. And Xbox just wanted to get more money out of people. That was it. And that's why it's taken so goddamn long. But it looks like they have sorted out finally. So yeah, we got that to look forward to. Really, really nice. And we have decided to delay the launch of uh, Arc on Xbox Play Anywhere and Crossplay until November. So yeah, we're going to have to wait until November until we can actually crossplay with other PCs. Um, so the PC can actually host a server for the Xbox, which would be pretty, pretty cool. The reason behind this is because we believe it is critical critical to the battle eye functioning on Microsoft platforms. We are very interested in the effects of crossplay, but we're cautious about enabling a PC and Xbox players to game together without having an anti-cheat ready. So it is going to take a bit longer to get it sorted. So yeah, that is all the information on everything 
about how Microsoft has been putting up a front and they finally, a wildcard, have finally got around to Microsoft saying, yo, we need to this do PS4 is going and so on and so forth. And Tradeo has obviously taken the contract so we can set up servers with them for Xbox. And we have to wait to the 25th of October before we can get these rentable servers. But it's still all right. And then we still got to wait until November sometime-ish. Uh, until we get the crossplay, yeah, yeah, it's Microsoft for you. That's all I can say. <laughs> but that is it, Moles. That is going to be the end of the video. We have covered the new creature dossier that is covered in blood and looking absolutely amazing. And the rentable service problem that we have been having for Xbox. So. That is it, Mortals. I hope you found it informative and I hope it gives you some information on where Xbox stands with the rentable servers and the crossplay. And if it does, please don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the big red subscribe button. And as always, Mortals, don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world. That is it. I am Mortal T and I am out.